Yeah, let's finish up with one more topic because we need to talk about it. Because an RBNY legend, one Sasha Kleschen, came out of retirement to play for USL League Two side Des Moines Menace in Iowa in their opening U.S. Open Cup game. He went 120 minutes. He provided an assist and scored a penalty to help Des Moines advance. I, I think I'm saying that right, by the way, Des Moines. Um, advance to the next round of the Cup. So my, my thought, and, and again, this will be a quick segment. It wasn't supposed to be stuff that we talked about, but thoughts on this? Cool, bad? What do you think? I don't see any situation where you could describe it as bad, uh, but I think, you know, it's it's a fun little thing for for the cup. You get to see for Red Bull fans. I'm sure it's cool to see Sasha playing again. Uh, I, I would think the equivalent for me as an Atlanta fan, if I got to see like Parky play again, I think that would be fun. Uh, but uh, you mean there's I don't think there's too much more into it other than that. Uh, it'll be fun to watch him play. I think, you know, he's already like making a difference on the team, you know, assist and a, a penalty scored in the shootout. But uh, I don't know. It, it, are there people saying that it's a bad thing? Like, is there anybody that's saying anything negative towards it? I have seen very, very few, but there was the suggestion that players coming out of retirement. And, and again, this was again, this was from the very, very anti us open cup crowd. Like, Oh man, like, to make this tournament relevant, you need to bring out of retirement, like people who are on talk shows and stuff to like some ridiculous stuff. And then people were very, very quick to point out like FA cup, COVID, whatever, right. Lower league, like people will go back to their original teams and play for their, their hometown. Right. If they've got a small, small club. Right. I think that is the beauty of the cup. Man. I think that is exactly what this is about, right? Like you're in Iowa, you're watching the men's national team. You see Sasha question play and you're thinking, man, it'd be really nice to see him play close. But the only time he's ever played was with the men's national team, which to my knowledge has never gone to Iowa because not many people do. Um, people usually leave Iowa and I'm going yeah. to it. <laughs> GMOS, USA, which was in California, Red Bull, which was in New York, New Jersey. Orlando, which is in Florida, or overseas in Belgium, right? This guy now comes to your your town. Yeah, he's a bit older, right? But it's something you would not get to see every day. Even when he was in his prime, he th th there's no MLS in Iowa. MLS teams weren't really making the trips over to, because we mentioned in our last episode how tough it was for lower league teams to host. Um, like, this is what the Cup's all about, man. Like, the quirky, unique things that you're just not going to see every day in league play. And, and and I thought it was great. You know, I think the the conversation was very, very cool where he um, he had made a tweet about um, the cup and the importance and why it mattered and, and all that good stuff. Right. And the owner of the menace, menace, excuse, excuse me, came out and got into his DMs and was like, listen, we're we're hoping to host a spot. We're going to, we're ho hoping to host a game. We're going to save you a spot and we'd love for you to be a part of it to help spread the game and whatever. And, you know, so I think they went to the same gym, I think was the story. Like they went to the same spin class and Sasha crushed the workout. Like everybody else dying, sweating. He just like walked out of there and the guy kind of came back and he was like, listen, you're fit. You can play. I'm the owner of the menace. I'd love to get you involved with our with our club and and get you involved in the U.S. Open Cup. He's like, oh yeah, like hit me up one day, right? Like not thinking it would happen, and it ended up happening right at the time that all this this MLS stuff was going down. And Sasha goes in and does it, right? Man, that's what that's so cool to me. It'll be in the history stories, I'm sure of that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you it will. But again, like I think it would be so cool. And you saw it again with um, and again, I don't know if they're just there because that's the um like local team they're playing for now, but Bill Hamid, Anil Fisher playing for Nova FC, Anissa side, like just th that's cool, man. Like you can, Nisa being as young as it is, a lot of those guys probably ended up watching the fans of those, those teams probably were watching MLS and knew who Bill Hamid was and knew 
vaguely who O'Neill Fisher was. I mean, he wasn't the, the big mainstay guy, but he was, he played in MLS, right? Now you're now you're like, oh man, we're gonna go to the US Open Cup and these guys, I'm gonna get to watch them play in person, maybe get an autograph, get you know, close up pictures of them, whatever. That's growing the game, man. That's what gets this thing better. I think it's awesome. I think it's a really, really neat thing. Um, people who don't like it, I think, are just looking for reasons to not like the cup at all. But man, that's that's the beauty of it. That's what the cup's all about. All right, you got your Red Bull moment. All right, you favorite, one favorite, in every favorite U.S. Open, favorite U.S. Open Cup game so far. What was it? Uh, I heard the Brockton game was good against Chattanooga. I didn't watch that one, but I did hear it was good. I, I if, if I'm going to pick a team, uh, here's what I'll do instead. I'm going to pick a team other than Atlanta, of course, that I will be rooting for. Um, and I'm going to go with Union Omaha because they have a sick logo. Nice. <laughs> I put our designated player um, podcast curse on Lexington SC, who got beat by um, Vermont. Uh, which was a great, very fun game. Um, <laughs> you know, funny, right? Uh, I, I start, I tweet out like uh, MLS gone wild. It's like, oh, I'm all, I'm all aboard uh, uh, Vermont Green. I'm like, great, good luck today. I'm a big <laughs> Lexington SC guy. I came from the, you know, I, I worked there, whatever, right? Well, I start watching it. They go down three no in twenty minutes. Oh my God, <laughs> here we go. And the. Uh, then, then it gets like three one before halftime. I'm like, all right, I turned it off. I, w- I went to edit uh, our fun game Friday, and then I get these updates like, oh, it's four two. Oh, it's four three. I'm like, oh man, me getting away from it worked. I'm like, all right, let me watch the last. <laughs> let me watch the last five minutes, and we didn't score in the last five minutes. So, um, I, I did. All your fault. First. Yeah, should have well, just stayed away from it. And then I watched them play against uh, one Knoxville in the uh, the Bourbon Derby. I think is what they're calling it. Uh, Bur- Bourbon Trail Derby, I think, um, and they lost two nothing. So right now, I am. Uh, I-, I think I've got to stop watching their games. <laughs> yeah, seriously, for um, the sake of the club. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'll I'll pick up Vermont too. I think Vermont's a, a-, a cool club. I think uh, very unique um, with what they're trying to do in terms of their their they're very um, FGR. If you're going to use the English reference, like very sustainable and and things like that, which I think is kind of unique. Uh, and they had a great crowd show up. So I'll be backing them um, for the rest of the cup as long as they go. And then, uh, of course, Red Bull 2 having a very nice uh, 5-1 win was was good to see as well. I'm sorry to hear that for Vermont fans that are listening. Your team will be out in the next round. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I, do ho- I do hope that with the hosting fees, they get to host again. Because I think that would be a really, really nice um, thing for them. They, the, the community has bought into that club. They really, really enjoy it. Uh, so hopefully they get to they get to host whoever ends up next. I don't know. They're going to do a redraw, so we'll see how that goes. But um, all right, 